my campaign on uh, 2018, as you see, uh, the economy was our priorities to talk about it with our candidates as a candidate uh, to our voters. And uh, our slogan was uh, Lebanon vote green. Uh, so I, I love to use this picture at the beginning of my uh, presentation and out of my experience. Uh, first, uh, it's a privilege to speak today to all uh, our friends from across the Asia Pacific countries to discuss the essential role of women in leadership positions and on how to stand as a woman candidate developing an election campaign strategy as a former president for the Green Party of Lebanon. Hoping to keep this webinar as an exercise for the program. Nada Ghrayib Zaharour, Nashita Biya wa Siyasiya, Munzu Akthar Min Ashirina Aman. Am Alfut Samiyu Sabah Tisain, Darasa Tarikha wa Tahlila al Musika, Ma Tadrib al Asfi ala al Piano, Fi Jamiat Uzek. وفي العام 2000 استكملت العديد من الدورات في العلوم السياسية في الجامعة اللبنانية عام 2004 أسست مع مجموعة من النشطاء حزب الخضر في لبنان وانتخبت رئيسة الحزب من العام 2011 حتى العام 2018 وهي حاليا رئيسة المجلس التحكيمي في الحزب حزب الخضر في لبنان يحمل مبادئ السياسة الخضراء هو عضو في تحالف أحزاب الخضر الأسيوية وهدفها تحقيق العدالة الإيكولوجية والاجتماعية والاقتصادية في العالم ويعمل الحزب في لبنان على تمكين المرأة وإشراكها في صنع القرار ندى زعرور هي الرئيس والمؤسس لمنظمة الفكر الأخضر غير الحكومية منذ العام 2012 هذه المنظمة التي أنشأتها مجموعة من المهنيين اللبنانيين تسعى إلى إلهام وتعزيز الممارسات الاجتماعية والاقتصادية المستدامة في جميع أنحاء الشرق الأوسط وشمال أفريقيا أطلقت المنظمة مبادرات عدة أهمها برنامج تغيير المناخ إضافة إلى جائزة الفكر الأخضر وبايكاتون لبنان بعد انفجار مرفأ بيروت في 4 آب 2020 لعبت المنظمة دورا في مساعدة أهالي المنطقة المنكوبة فأمنت بالتعاون مع الاغتراب اللبناني مساعدات مختلفة من أجل إعادة أهالي بيروت إلى منازلهم المدمرة للمرأة حيز مهم في برامج الحزب والمنظمة من خلال مساعدتها على إعالة نفسها وعائلتها من خلال تدريبها على مهن حرة بين عامي 2005 و 2011 رأست ندى زعرور جمعية الثروة الحرجية والتنمية AFDC التي تعمل من أجل زيادة الغطاء الحرجي من أجل تحقيق التنمية المستدامة في العام 2017 انتخبت عضوا في مجلس إدارة شبكة العمل المناخي في العالم العربي وهي من ضمن شبكة إقليمية دولية تضم أكثر من 90 منظمة غير حكومية في أكثر من 120 بلد منذ العام 2001 هي شريك مع السلطات الدينية في لبنان والخارج لتطوير برنامج الإيمان والحفاظ على البيئة هي عضو اللجنة البيئية في بكركي حيث ساهمت بخطة تحريج مع الكنيسة على مدى 18 عاما شاركت في العديد من المؤتمرات الدولية حول القضايا البيئية نظمت العديد من النشاطات التدريبية في مختلف المناطق اللبنانية حول دور المنظمات غير الحكومية في صناعة السياسات البيئية في العام 2010 كرمت من ضمن مجموعة نساء رائدات في العالم العربي حازت على جائزة الاستدامة البيئية في لبنان تقديراً للمبادرات البيئية البارزة في العام 2018 استلمت درع ثمار الإنسانية تكريما لدور المرأة في الحياة السياسية ترشحت على الانتخابات النيابية في المتن في العام 2018 أما برنامج 
مش حزب الخضر اللبناني الانتخابي بيتضمن سبع عناوين أساسية وهي السيادة ودولة القانون الإصلاح ومكافحة الفساد التنمية المستدامة والحفاظ على الثروات الطبيعية الاقتصاد الأخضر المستدام العدالة الاجتماعية والتشريعات وهون التقى نبض البيئة مع نبض المتن متأهلة من إبراهيم زعرور الداعم الأول لها أسسا معا عائلة من ستة أولاد ولهما أربعة أحفاد رسالتها إلى أولادها أن يكون لك أولاد يعني أن تسمح لقلبك أن يعيش خارج جسدك Over the past 12 years, we have built a positive and optimistic plan demonstrating that a comprehensive vision of hope could be a powerful force for change. In 2018, we built a team of Lebanese volunteers and investing in new innovative campaign tools so that we can lay a strong foundation for the next 2022 parliamentary election. Uh, let's uh, uh, make uh, finger, our fingers crossed. So our election campaign design, slide three, please, uh, Rashana. Uh, we're going to talk about the main priorities, uh, economic uh, and the political collapse in Lebanon. So understanding our constituency regarding the situation, Lebanese just want to survive and prevent complete collapse of the country. Second, Lebanese currency has devaluated more than 90%, unfortunately. Lebanese revolt is still ongoing and a new government, government is not being formed yet. Regarding the situation, uh, we need a low cost campaigning, which can be highly effective uh, out of our experience, but it will require good groundwork first especially detailed analysis and understanding of where the voters are, their needs and aspirations. Step one, developing overall campaign position, which means understanding where our constituency are by an online platform that conducts a consultation on people's needs. This platform is a two-way conversation that also provides data back to people on the overall results of input. Based on understanding the con of constituency preferences, the campaign develops its political position and pastes it on the platform, showing people that the campaign has adopted the position of the people based on input by the people. Slide four. Uh, on slide four, please, uh, Rashana. Okay. Uh, we aim to build an inspiring proposal that capture the aspiration of the voter. Holistic, which provides a holistic solution to all problems in Lebanon, especially economic. Inclusive, overcomes the political and social divisions existing on the country in the country. A broad ownership. Our approach is to get support to this vision bottom. Clear and simple, which means provide a simple presentation on what needs to be done. Inspiring, provides a positive outlook to the country that uplifts Lebanese from current side. Step two, build on a positive future vision rather than talking about the problems and how bad the situation is. Positive visions can inspire people not to be afraid to be ambitious, but back up your ambition with evidence. In Lebanon, for example, we have created a green recovery vision that you are using it as a basis to inspire voters, creating a constructive debate on what needs to happen which is something we have an advantage in. You need to be on the ground, for sure. Lebanon has small election districts and voters know the candidates. They, they base voting largely on personal, family relations, as well as services provided by the candidates. These services 
do not largely change status, but address the small needs of individuals. There is a need to change the debate and show voters that they do not need to be a clientele for the political candidate. The candidate needs to uplift the whole community and allow them to be independent from certain individuals that are abusing status to ensure their election. People in Lebanon need to know you, us, <laughs> or hear about you from credible individuals. Slide five. Slide five, yes. Step three, demonstrate capability to deliver. Work with municipality leaders in developing bankable projects that help the community achieve sustainable development. Work with donors, provide donors with the bankable projects to secure funding either as grants or investments. Work with service providers to develop projects, secure investments and implement projects. For example, we have been using the green economy approach to provide a development, deve, developmental vision for target municipalities, which means in more specific examples, we have secured connection between donors, investors, service providers, and municipalities to develop hybrid generation, hybrid co-generation, solar PV system that provides the municipality with 100% electricity. Such a project has a huge impact on a community that is suffering more than 12 hours of blackout per day. Unfortunately, we are living in a blackout. Actually, uh, this is a catastrophic uh, situation. A candidate needs to demonstrate that she can or he can address people's urgent needs with real action. People are tired of speeches and talk. They have been promised so many times, but with no delivery. So delivering one to three similar examples and achieving progress in top priorities issues for the community under a general future vision that the people can aspire to can to, can boost credibility and support tremendously. Other options and other examples, case studies need to be created out of these few examples and distributed in various ways to voters through social and conventional media, meetings, word of mouth, and distribution of communication material. Slide three. In this step, communication strategies. Targeted social media ads inspires voters with the economy vision using the concrete projects as an example of future change. Social media is a key, but not enough. Voters have to know candidate personally. Work with credible female change makers. Be on the ground through the voice of credible women leaders in the community. These women will be our main on the ground campaigners. They will organize events, discussions, meetings where the candidate will present campaign positions. Alliances are tricky. Alliances can dilute your vision if they don't adopt it, but necessary to cover ground, being part of a bigger group is important to substitute the need for large volunteer base and different candidates can help pool resources and build on the different strong points of the camp. Number one, a coalition can also increase credibility to show that you have a national impact beyond your district and that your national vision can be implemented rather than having to be a, long, a lone voice promising too much. Second, 
The challenge is having the coalition adopt the national inspirational vision that you have without being diluted. The bigger coalition you are part of, the higher the chances that candidates have divergent views and key political message could get lost. Therefore, it is important to involve the coalition in the online consultation platform, educating them on what voters want and need, helping understand where the voters are. Before we open the discussion, I would love to thank you all. This is my last uh, slide to give a chance for the Q and A. Um, just to let you know that Lebanon in, on October 2019, protesters took to the streets across the country calling for their social and economic rights. Why it is important to talk, it, to talk now before the election of 2022? Because since 2019, the representatives from this revolt have been winning all election campaigns at syndicates. And the Green Party is part of these groups and already has candidates that successfully won seats in syndicates. The engineer, all of you, you know, uh, Mary Therese Safe, and she won this seat in the syndicate of engineers. This coalition, uh, and the groups are now preparing for the parliamentary election and creating a coalition. This coalition will be the basis of our national work, believe me. And currently we are working on selling the green recovery vision to the coalition as the inspiring vision for the future. We need uh, a new vision for our people. And then I like, uh, to uh, thank you, all of you. And I like to share again the map that shows the Green Party of Lebanon is part of the global green. Can we go to slide eight, uh, please? This is uh, the revolt. This is me on uh, the right of the uh, picture. Uh, we were on the streets since 2019, and yesterday we were on the streets also on the Memorial Day of the uh, year one of the explosion. The flag of Lebanon on this map, which shows that we are part of this beautiful family. Uh, the slide eight can end my presentation. And uh, just uh, we raised uh, a crowdfunding uh, on uh, 2018, and today we are renewing our don uh, donation and the crowdfunding, uh, representing Lebanon out of the global greens around the world. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. So uh, if anyone has a question, I have already asked for you to provide in a chat box. But uh, yeah, uh, you can also raise your hand. Thank you very much, Nada. Um, I am really keen to know, obviously, uh, voting patterns in Lebanon have been uh, very tied to sectarian or religious connections for many years. And uh, could you talk about how building this sort of new coalition and creating a new vision uh, is impacting on what has been like a stalemate or, you know, a crisis in um, politics for so long in Lebanon with, um, you know, such entrenched interests that uh, do not say, ever want to seem to cooperate for the good of the, the whole country. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, this coalition <clears throat> we can build on for any uh, elections, uh, even for the students uh, in universities and, as I mentioned, in syndicates. Why the re agree recovery can build this uh, bonding between all the, because we need a vision. And our government, unfortunately, the last 30 years, there is no vision on any steps. Listen now, we don't have electricity. My, uh, they will cut it now after uh, 30 minutes 
uh, and I will lose the internet, all connections around the world. This is, it is really humiliating, humiliating us. Uh, and uh, we, we created the green recovery and why uh, the green recovery is very important for us because Lebanon economic crisis provides a unique opportunity. The country is more or less in dire need to completely rev uh, revitalize its economy. And the biggest question to put forward is how. The decision that will be taken today during our campaign will lock Lebanon economy for the coming decades. An economic development strategy will drive investments in certain sectors like transportation, like uh, uh, electricity and, renew and renewable energy, agriculture, all these sectors uh, that will set the course of these uh, for, the, for the next generation. Therefore, the economic strategy to be implemented should look into the economy of the future and not just what has worked in the past. Uh, I hope I answered your question because uh, we are really in a bad situation in Lebanon. No medication, and no uh, electricity, and no gas for uh, or fuel for our cars. Uh, we are stuck uh, in a very uh, corrupted uh, politicians uh, that they ruled this country for decades. And now the whole world is watching us and I hope uh, we can get uh, the help uh, that, that we are waiting for economically, our monies, we can't reach our money in the banks. It's really very bad. The, the last uh, six uh, months, it was a disaster. It was a hell. <laughs> we are living in a hell. Lebanon is a beautiful country. And uh, we, were, uh, uh, we were known uh, by the, our uh, education and universities uh, in the region, uh, uh, our hospitals, mm -hmm. uh, our uh, uh, tourism. Uh, I don't know what happened in the last, it collapsed. Everything is collapsed. And I feel like to cry now talking about my beautiful country and our, my beautiful city that it's after the blast, really, we, we lost, uh, uh, I, I can't talk anymore because it was really uh, a disaster uh, what have been happened to us since 2020, uh, 2020 uh, in August. And now we have, uh, after one year, uh, that killed 200 people, wounded more than 6,000 and left around 300,000 people homeless all their houses are damaged and destroyed. Tens of thousands of homes. Really, we are suffering from physical and psychological scars, which still remain fresh. And this happened yesterday that we have the Memorial Day of the 4th of August. So let's think positively and look for the future and our campaign. Uh, we hope we can win. We hope we can inspire voters. We have, we hope, uh, with our vision, uh, and we have uh, a beautiful coalition on the ground with all the uh, uh, revolts, uh, young and uh, uh, parties, uh, independent parties like us. Thank you. Hello, I'm from Sweden, and I know you're you have a really collapse in your country, and I'm so sad. They used to say Beirut is the second Paris. So I understand you are very proud of your country. Um, but I also wonder about all the refugees. It's not yourself you must take care of, but you must also take care of all the refugees. How is the situation? The situation, we have 1,560,000 refugees in our country, on our land. Uh, they are living in camps and uh, uh, the, the United Nations, they are helping them uh, monthly. Uh, they are paying them uh, for their uh, daily expenses. Uh, they are helping them uh, with the uh, schooling. 
uh, at the same time, the Lebanese people, they can't find medication. They can't find uh, any resources for help. They are punishing our politicians, but they are punishing us, the whole people uh, in Lebanon. Uh, some of the uh, Lebanese uh, in, around the camps of the refugees, they are going to the, to the camps to get help. Imagine what's happening. Yani we were helping and hosting them and uh, try to keep them safe. And now our people are going to get medicines, uh, their medications from the camps of the refugees because we can't find medicines in our pharmacies. This is the situation. Uh, it costs us a lot economically, uh, environmentally, and uh, um, mentally that uh, you have uh, beside the Palestinian that we have uh, more than 500,000 uh, refugees in their camps. Lebanon is uh, a small country uh, uh, that uh, have uh, uh, two millions uh, uh, on his ground refugees and we are only four million and, uh, and a half. Uh, this is really a bad uh, picture uh, around uh, this uh, in this situation. And now the economic uh, collapse uh, destroyed everything. Yeah. They stole our uh, our money. Uh, we can't reach our money in the banks, as I described. Our currency is zero now. Um, I don't know what I have to say, but my smile can will keep on and I have to give a positive solutions and a hope and a vision because we are running for election. We want to destroy all this uh, uh, corrupted uh, uh, politicians and parties around us. We, we are working hardly and uh, I hope we can reach uh, some place. I hope the same and I really wish you good luck, really. Thank you, dear. Thank you. So uh, thank you, Nada, for a wonderful presentation and your, uh, your motivation for women in Asia Pacific. And there are two women leaders, uh, you know, uh, Green Party women leaders. Uh, one is you and another one is in Indonesia, uh, apart from Asia, uh, Australia and New Zealand. Uh, so my question is that what was the vote share of your party in elections 2018? And did you go for alliance? Did I go for, excuse me? Alliance for, uh, with other parties? Uh, yes, 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 for sure. The electoral uh, law is uh, you need to be in a list and this list obliges you to have a coalition. Uh, so the Green Party, we had the three candidates. We were three candidates in 2018. Uh, me and, and uh, my colleague, uh, she's a woman, uh, and uh, each this her, uh, uh, you know, her uh, own, uh, you know, the districts uh, that can uh, po on po pose on you your how to make a coalition with who and who's the better for your uh, message and your campaign and your uh, uh, what what do you want to deliver so yes uh, we were we uh, we were uh, nominated uh, in our political board that me and uh, two others uh, running for election, we have the profile and we, we proved our uh, uh, strategies to our political board and they agreed and they voted on uh, for us. So uh, yes, we, we had a coalition, but the coalition didn't help very much because it was our first uh, you know, exercise, our first exercise in elections. Uh, the coalition uh, uh, was, uh, didn't success, <laughs> didn't succeed, <laughs> didn't succeed. So uh, we learned, we learned uh, from the first step. And I think in 2022, we are more prepared 